Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of medical history. Today, we're talking about the incredible evolution of sutures. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get started. Did you know that sutures have been used for over 4,000 years? Ancient Egyptians used linen and animal sinew to close wounds, while in ancient India, physicians got creative and used live beetles or ants to staple wounds shut. They attached these insects to the edges of the wound, and after they clamped it shut with their pincers, the doctors cut off their bodies, leaving the jaws in place. Wow! Throughout history, Doctors have used various natural materials for sutures, such as flax, hair, grass, cotton, silk, pig bristles, and animal gut. But there was a downside. Sutured wounds often became infected. In the 19th century, surgeons preferred cauterizing wounds rather than risking infections from sutures. Enter the great English physician Joseph Lister. In the 1860s, Lister discovered disinfecting techniques that made surgery much safer. He experimented with cat gut for over 10 years, working to create a material that was strong, sterilizable, and absorbable. Eventually, a German surgeon made significant advancements in processing cat gut, leading to a truly sterile material. Cat gut remained the go to absorbable suture material until the 1930s while silk and cotton were used for non-absorbable sutures. Then, suture technology advanced with the creation of nylon in 1938 and polyester around the same time. With these new materials, needle technology also improved, leading to the development of atraumatic needles. In the 1960s, chemists introduced new synthetic materials that could be absorbed by the body like polyglycolic acid and polylactic acid. These synthetic absorbable sutures soon became more popular than catgut in American hospitals. The FDA started regulating suture materials in the 1970s. Since 1976, suture manufacturers have been required to seek pre-market approval for new sutures, adhere to good manufacturing practices, and ensure their products are safe and effective. Patents for new suture materials are granted for 14 years. And there you have it. The amazing journey of sutures from ancient times to modern day medicine. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating medical history content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.